welcome back to Three Guys in the Garage. And today we are in a garage. We'll be going over Oban Little Bay Single Malt Scotch Whiskey Small Cask. So um, we picked this up in Madison at O'Reilly's and we'll be trying it today to see what it tastes like. I think it's the first Oban that we've been doing a review on. So yep. yeah. Just get a little takes uh, mature small batch open single malt and gives it an extra mm -hmm. time and All right. small oak casks. <laughs> to yield more deep smoothness and richness, richness of flavor. So. We got for proof and price point. Uh, price point, I picked this up for it was on sale for 40. Normally, I believe it says around, around 60. And the proof of it, we have to look at the I thought it was uh, 40. It's 86 proof. 86 proof. So. Thought we'd try an Oban. I picked up a couple of the uh, Game of Thrones um, scotches that we'll be trying at a later date, and one of them is um, an Oban. Not a whole lot going on on the nose. Yeah. It's very, very mild. Very, yeah, it is mild on the nose. Hangs in the glass well. It's got fairly kind of rich caramel color. Just a small hint of maybe a cinnamon spice on the back of the tongue, mm -hmm. um, but very mild. Um, yeah. yeah, nothing shocking or surprising here. A little citrusy, this tad. Just a bit. Yeah. Yeah, it's a smooth start and the finish is just nice and I should say level. I think it's a yeah. good oh yeah. Good easy one you could drink anytime. Most definitely. You know, it's very easy, smooth finish on the palate. Probably be a good one to share with maybe somebody who's just trying scotch or is not quite that into it yet. Fairly unintimidating. Yeah, not, it's not offensive but anyway. There's not much uh, for the body. No, it's. It says fruity richness, but I don't get any fruit out of that. From no. my, do you guys? No, I'm not. No, it's, little, like I said, little cinnamon, cinnamon, mm -hmm, yeah. a little spicy fruit would not come to mind. No. Drinking well, it. I mean, uh, I get a little bit. I hate to compare it to like something else, but it's almost like a real, like we have, I'm going to make like an apple pie, so it's kind of sure. got that, it's not the apple, but it's just kind of got that, the following of it, like you say, the cinnamon or whatever. And yeah, for fruity, I mean, yeah, you get the citrusy, but I can't nail it down to, let's say, an orange or, no, you know, a tangerine or something. I mean, there's, it's citrus there, but I just can't tell you the fruit that they're claiming that it comes up with. All right. Yeah, uh, like you guys said, if it's something I would put on the shelf, it would be for someone who's yeah, who wants some scotch. That's someone's interested in wanting to dabble a little bit in it. Right. Something nice to start them off with. See how they like that before you mm -hmm. try to branch into the different genres of. Yep, there's 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 no smoke in here. There's no peat in here. Um, yeah, just just a smooth, easy drinker. Yeah. But. On the bad side, I'd say it's unremarkable. Competent, but unremarkable. Try it with just a drop of water on it. And that's, I think that's a good way of saying it, because it doesn't, it doesn't stand out. We'll breathe a little bit. All right, you gotta, you're going to have to give it a rating then. Neat. Neat. 
two seven five. Two. Okay. For that, you know, maybe two and a half. Somewhere in that. Uh, two, it's it's not bad, but so I'm probably two seven five. I'm gonna go with. So. Yeah, I'd say maybe three. Okay. I'm gonna give it a three. I'm gonna say competent but unremarkable. I don't. I don't think I would probably go out and buy a bottle of this. But uh, if you handed me a glass to drink, I'll definitely drink it. Now for me, that water really dumbs it down. It does. It just. It takes everything out of it. it just, yeah. There's. You know. The nosing. Yeah. It's like. This is. It's not like a water almost thing. like a water thing. Yeah. This just isn't. A, this isn't a water scotch. No. And we didn't put very much in. No. I'm going to give it a three meat, and I'm going to probably go two seven five with water. Yeah, I agree with you, Brett. I'm going down to two and a half. What <clears throat> two? I hate to simplify it, but to me, this is like at the end of the night when your glass has been, you know, just sit, you know, your drinks mixed. Mm -hmm. It's all water. It, yeah. The water just kills it. Yeah, it does. It just flattens it out. Yeah. So. All right, I've been a little bay. So that was Abin Little Bay. Thanks for watching. Again, from Three Guys in the Garage. If you like what you see, please subscribe and hit the like button.